What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to the show tonight. Uh, Shopcast episode something or other. Um, Hope you all had a good weekend. Hope everybody is safe and healthy and happy. Uh, It's been a busy couple of weeks, man. I I feel like I haven't talked to Josh at all. Chris, I spoke to you a little bit, but only through text. Yeah. It's been been a busy couple of weeks, man. And I mean, shoot, normally I talk to one of you guys quite a bit. So it was real strange to like go two days without really much a picture here and there or a comment here or there. And, oh, that's cool. Or blah, blah. Usually we have some kind of long form conversation yeah. on our little text group. So it was kind of strange to just not really have much of that going on. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Life goes on. Um, so two things real quick before we go any deeper into the show. Um, anyone that's watching this, that's local. Um, we are doing a new thing at my store. Starting, I'm going to officially start it on September 1st. It'll be the Shop 31 Movie Club. Not film club, not film, no, it's an actual movie club where you come in and you get movies. It'll be a rental service. There's a monthly dues involved, but it's very small. The cost of it is like a third of what it would cost to rent any Redbox stuff, and you get it for an entire week versus one day. So it's uh, any money that comes from that goes directly back into that. It's strictly a thing to have fun. Um, it's strictly there for us to enjoy movies. Uh, I'll give more details later, but essentially it's going to be a come in and grab a couple of movies every week type of deal. And then uh, I'm going to have a Saturday morning movie that I'm going to play every week at 10 a.m. Uh, you can come. You can not. It's up to you. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll help me uh, increase the amount and the titles that we've got at the store it'll help me weed out some of the bullshit stuff that we don't care about i will probably have very very few comedies that aren't just straight classics if it's not just something that's we all if it's not old school the hangover one uh fucking you know ricky bobby type shit like something that we know we we can it's like lots of rewatchability like i don't think it's gonna I'm, i'm not gonna have very many romantic comedies in this thing you know if it's not you know uh knocked up you can watch that movie once a year and still laugh at it. You know, some of these other ones, you just you watch them once and they're just ugh. But uh, so I'll have very little of, of that stuff. It'll mostly be horror, sci-fi, thriller, and then '80s and '90s action stuff. I'm gonna put a lot of effort into like maintaining this and having a really awesome selection. I will have a clipboard on the wall for any member of the club to come in at any point in time and say, I would like to have this in there. As long as I can get it in the U S without it being, you know, 30 plus dollars, I will get it. It doesn't matter what the title is. If you want it, I can get it. And it's shit. Even if it's that expensive, but it's just, I know it's hard to get. I'm not too worried about paying for it. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure we get it. Uh, but that's something that I want to do for everybody that's in town. And then uh, for all of our Patreon folks, story time is going to officially change and it is going to be an actual video that i do every two weeks it's not going to be scraps from other shows and my i might i might put some of that in there but i'm going to actually start i got a new note on my well i'm getting a new phone and on that phone i'm going to literally have my notepad that i have and i'm going to start a page and every week i'm just going to jot things down and then once every like probably two weeks i'm going to sit down and by myself just record a patreon exclusive show if somebody wants to jump on and join me that's awesome too, but I'm going to do it every couple of weeks and it is only going to be on Patreon. I will not put that stuff on anything else. Um, and it'll be just things that happen. It'll actually be a story time. It'll be things that happen during the week, just weird things. I'll maybe rant a little bit. It'll be funny shit, angry shit, whatever, just whatever significant stuff that I can blow off some steam and talk about that. I don't have to sit and talk about on this show for 30 minutes. I can do it on that show and it'll be exclusive for Patreon members um so that'll be fun it'll start very soon hopefully next weekend i'll have it up for the first time uh i was getting ready to edit this last story time and i just thought it's cool that i was doing it like that but i don't think that it had the i don't know like the flair that it would if it was just like an actual thing that i went and did for that versus oh i have this and i can make this for this no i want to actually you know, I really appreciate the stuff that people are doing for me. 
And um, what better way to show it than to actually spend some time devoted to those people. So, uh, yeah, that's enough of me talking about all that shit. I just want to let everybody know that those are some major changes that are happening that I'm very excited about. So hopefully, hopefully some people can utilize the, the movie club. And um, also when and then also when I do the movie club, I know everybody has 10 million Facebook groups. I am going to have a private group for the movie club so we can talk about stuff that we need. Or if somebody can't make it back to the shop to return something, we know. Uh, also, we can just discuss movies and see who wants what and who's got what and all that stuff. It'll probably be a fairly small group. I don't know that we'll utilize it all the time. But I want a way to communicate with anybody that's involved with that. That way we can reach out if we need to for any reason. But uh, all that stuff aside, thank you guys so much for being patient. Josh and Chris, I appreciate it, fellas. Um, no let's talk let's talk some motherfucking movies dude um well the freshest one on my mind is the man from nowhere so let's start with that one um i had seen that one before i own it uh basically it's pretty self-explanatory it's a fellow that is um kind of a i guess drifter of sorts kind of keeps to himself doesn't really talk to anybody o runs a pawn shop and uh, ends up getting in some people's business that are the kind of people you don't want to be in their business. And he also turns out to be the kind of guy that you don't want in your business. And then fighting happens. And it's <laughs> fucking awesome. But uh, that movie was a lot of fun, man. I forgot how much I enjoyed that movie. I've only seen it one other time. And I honestly didn't remember much of it. I was, I was like, I kept being like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> dude, so the little girl that he was helping... Is it just me, or did she look like a little boy for the first like five or six scenes in that movie? Was that intentional? I thought was so it was at first, but I thought it was a boy. I was like, "Oh man, that kid has some long ass hair." It took me like a full, I don't know, <laughs> couple of scenes to realize it was a young lady. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, it quickly was obvious it was a girl painting the nails yeah. and all that stuff. I mean, boy, that's what that's too, what I was like. I was like, but... "Oh shit, it's a girl." I was like, "All right," or who knows how she wants to be approached? Maybe they them. I don't know, man. <laughs> Fuck my life, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I questioned it for a minute too. Um, and but... not that there's anything wrong with that. I just was like, no. kind of. I was kind of just one of those things where when I realized that, I felt kind of dumb. I was like, oh shit, I guess I should have noticed that. <laughs> but uh, that dude in the the main guy, the main fella, the man from nowhere, is he? What? Mm -hmm. what I recognize that guy. What else is he in? Mother. That's, yeah. Oh that's shit. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh man, that's a different role. Yeah, I did the same thing. Like I was, I, I'd never seen it before. Uh, so you know, for after a couple of scenes, I was like, that dude looks really familiar. I mean, I've watched a you know yeah. fairly good bit of recent Korean stuff lately. Dude, that just and... blew my mind. <laughs> I was like, oh Jesus, <laughs> oh that's awesome. Yeah, that's a yeah. uh, that that's range right there. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's serious <laughs> range. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I just got a text message that said, uh, "Visit." I'm not gonna say what. And it said, if you want to hook up tonight. Oh, shit. From some random ass number. I know what I'm that doing. That was me. It. Oh, shit. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're going to have something to talk about on story time this week. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Dude, how go. funny would that be if, like, on the side, both of us were being dirtbags and we went and met up at, like, a hotel to be some broad and it was just us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious and gross. It would be um, very disappointing. For real. Like, man, I did not expect facial hair to be involved in this. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. <laughs> Don't knock until you try it. <laughs> oh, that cat does not give a fuck. That cat is our official mascot, dude. It's always dude, one or the other. The logo needs to be like, meow. <laughs> fucking just a cat fucking flipping us off. Um, Sorry, I turned this shit off. Uh. Yeah, man, that movie was really, really fucking good, though. Like, I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. It was like a, uh, it's like you already knew what was going to happen from the jump. And it's oh, like, yeah. you were like waiting on inevitability to happen, but it was still interesting. And yeah. I think that a lot of times when you know something's going to happen, it takes the kind of the fun out of it. And this story, you, cause you're, cause, I think I think with that guy actually not really giving too much up about himself, kept it fun, kept it interesting, um, and also 
coming to the realization that there's two fucking like factions against each other that if you're not really paying attention, that won't be very obvious for a while. You'll think it's all one group. You know, I caught it fairly quick, but I was real I was real aware of the fact that had I not been paying attention, I'd have been lost. I'd have thought I'd have been like, wait, why are these guys fighting each other all of a sudden? I wouldn't have realized that there was actually some 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 shit happening in that because I think it was initially one group and then it was like turmoil in, in that group. Yeah, something like and that. That could have easily just been missed if you weren't paying a lot of attention, especially since it's not in English. Uh, yeah, but, same uh, here. I was I was kind of confused that first, like when he goes to meet the like the gangster boss guy yeah. or whatever, and they all start fighting. I was like, wait, why is everybody fighting each other? I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it quickly made sense, but because well, everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was really trying hard not to start cracking up. I'm a big <laughs> child. That's why I took a drink of my drink. I was like, if I don't, if I drink something, I won't start laughing like an idiot. <laughs> oh man! But, I'm, no, get, good, I'm about to get a movie. copyright strike for that one because I'm putting a clip in. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> dude, I've been having so much fun with that shit that I don't even care, dude. They can fucking monetize my shit with their own thing. I don't give a fuck. And I don't know if you if y'all knows, but my my thumbnails are getting out of control, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. I, I like them. I think they're good. Oh, I'm having way more fun with. It. I found this editing program on my phone, like this, like little app, and it didn't cost anything. So I was like, oh, I'll see if I could. All I was really looking to do was be able to put like my face on like a background so that I could make a similar looking thumbnail with some other people. But the yeah. moment I realized I could do like weird shit with it, I was like, oh fuck, it's all out the window now. I, I I don't have the ability to not do something weird if I have that in my, you know toolbox i'm gonna utilize it so <laughs> no i thought they looked cool actually oh yeah, they, yeah, they work they work well i feel like it fits my style and what we're doing so i just thought like if i if I, I figured if nothing else you guys would tell me if it was just trash i was like if it's real bad chris or josh will reach out and go hey next time do it like this or that shit's awful like whatever <laughs> but uh yeah that movie was a lot of fun what'd you guys think of it yeah it's good good movie um very you know john wick like uh, yes Yes, I caught that vibe, you know, after a little while. I mean, it's not as just straight up, hundred percent action like John Wick kind of become. <laughs> I think this one's a little older, right? Yes, this was first. So I feel like uh, it might have been a little bit of inspiration, maybe, because the storyline really feels John Wickish. Yeah, I mean, he's just dressed in black, kind of a loner. You know, wife dies, kicks ass. <laughs> I like that. I'm I'm, but, I'm I'm about that life, but I had good good kills, good fights. It was a fun time. I, I always like whenever um, there was that Japanese guy, and uh, <coughs> sorry, they were talking in that room, sitting on the they're sitting across there talking about the tea, and the mm. Japanese guy's like talking to the other guy, and he's like, "Hey, tell him this, this, this." And I always love it when those kind of scenes happen, and the other guy speaks to them in their language and it just surprises them i'm always like oh he got you that's awesome i bet you feel stupid i don't know why but i always that's always a satisfying scene for me like when that kind of thing happens i always like that i'm always it always is is fun to me yeah yeah so yeah i i like the movie as well i liked it a lot i mean i can't say too much more about it than what you guys did just like simple uh action story like leon the professional or john wick yeah, or something yeah, like that yeah that's a good comparison yeah. right there that's actually that's actually a really good comparison john wick and leon the professional kind of in a blender and you, and you yeah. get this because it's got like the story and the feelings behind leon with some of the action of john wick that's a i like that uh i fucking love leon the professional man that is a good movie uh, yeah that movie is awesome yep not to go too far off of what we're talking about but i was talking to josh ellis the other day and uh, you know it's about to be something ridiculous with that fool. Uh, <laughs> we were talking about movies, and we Leon the Professional came up, and then uh, oh, I was showing him some movies that I got, and and I said, man, I I didn't realize that I didn't have a copy of Heat. For whatever reason, I didn't have Heat, and I I didn't understand that. I was like really surprised. Um, like I went to go watch it, and was like, fuck, I don't have it. I was like kind of irritated, but I quickly acquired a copy. And uh, I was talking to Josh about something, and Leon was a movie I really liked. And then 
I said something about Godfather, how I recognized its greatness, but don't like the movie. And then Ellis goes, yeah, it's kind of like Heat for me. And I was like, you don't like Heat? And he goes, no. And I was like, why not? And I thought maybe there was a really specific reason. Like, some people just simply don't like Val Kilmer. Like, legit. Like, they just don't like that guy. They don't want to watch something he's in. So I didn't know what his reason was going to be. Because, like, for instance, I think Ashley Judd's annoying as fuck. But I still love Heat. Um and he was like, yeah, it's just not a good movie to me. And I was like, that's a pretty vague reason to not like something, but that's, you know, whatever. And then I was sitting there for a second, and I, th- I, s- I, said, I said, wait, don't you like The Dark Knight? And he goes, yeah, I love that movie. And I went, oh, okay. And then I just, that's all I said. I was just like, okay. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, why? And I was like, you don't see the parallels there? And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, in heat. In the Dark Knight, literally, they're like the same movie, but one's got a mask and a clown, and the other one's got Robert De Niro and Val Kilmer. It's like they're the same. They're not the same, but they're the same. Like, yeah, dude, Bat- the Dark Knight is Batman with heat. It's that's what. It, and I was like, and I was just like, and he just didn't agree. And I was like, dude, Christopher Nolan said as much. Like, yeah, I was like, I'm not <laughs> making it up. But I was, but I, but he did say that he's only seen it once, and that he's going to watch it with me soon. So, um. That's more than I can say for a lot of people. Some people go, I don't like that, and I'm not fucking watching it. And it's like, okay. But he's like, I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch it with you. I said, I think you'll like it more if you watch it again. But um, The Other Professional, so. I feel, is like right there with that movie, which is where I was actually going with this, is that it was a weird conversation that involved Leon the Professional, which I would like Ellis to watch. He probably won't even like this shit. He ain't going to read. What am I talking about, dude? It was a whole waste of time. God damn it. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways. Do we Maybe have anything you would watch else? it dubbed. Oh it was God! Dubbed. I would <laughs> probably watch. It. Oh man! So, do we have anything else to talk about with this one? Oh, I do want to figure out: is there a place that people can stream this? Because I just had a Blu-ray, so I didn't even. It's on Prime. Check. It's on Prime. Okay, so it's on yeah. Prime. That's good to know. Um, yeah. So, do we have anything else to talk about with this one? Other, really. than, other than what we would grade it, what do you guys Super, give it? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight five. I thought it was really solid uh just really really well executed yeah action scenes and something that i'll probably rewatch at some point you know it's like it's got some rewatchability to it i agree with that chris yeah i was thinking about seven five but same feeling like i would probably watch it again i'm right i'm right in the middle eight 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 oh um i do own it i glad that i own it and i will rewatch it again uh, before we leave this film, I do want to mention two scenes that I almost forgot. I'm glad I thought about them. I'd have been pretty sad if I had not mentioned these. Two of the best things that I've ever seen, just visually, like not like Nolan style of stuff where it's like really pretty in it, but it, just the way they filmed it was, and you'll probably won't be surprised, the part where they throw him onto that net because it's just oh. like all of a sudden he's in the air flying, right? And it was just beautiful. And if you weren't paying very close attention, and I don't know that it wasn't that guy, I don't think you could catch that it might have been a stunt double, man, because they did a really good job. And I don't know that it was. It might have been that dude. Um, And then the part, and I don't know how they did this, when he ran and jumped through the window and the camera went with him, Mm. that was fucking dope, man. Yeah. Like, that had me pause it and watch it over because I was like, how'd they do that? And I rewound it and I was like, I don't know. I was just like, whatever. Like, I don't have to know. It's whatever. But it was really cool, man. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. If anybody out there has not seen this movie and you're a fan of the underprofessional John Wick, that kind of thing, uh, and you don't mind reading subtitles, this is a fantastic film, and I highly recommend it. It's a good movie with good actors, great cinematography. I uh, didn't really pay much attention to the music in it, but uh, everything else was great. So, All right. Um, Valhalla Rising. All right. I feel like this is a pretty straightforward one as well. Yeah, kind um, of. I love, and I'm, I'm beginning to become a very big fan of Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, most of the things that I've seen him in, I really like. Uh, wasn't he in a Bond film? Yeah, he was in Casino Royale. Casino Royale. Um, I believe that's the first time I paid attention to him. I'm certain he's been in things way before that. But I was like, oh, I recognize this guy. And then I was like, damn, he was really good. And uh, Mm -hmm. so then I started catching him in other things. And I picked up that movie Polar recently. It's a Netflix exclusive. Um, I really like that movie. Like, I 
fucking like that movie a lot. Um, that being said, um, yeah, that movie was uh, it's just like a big ass Viking type movie. I mean, it's it's super violent. Um, I don't even who, who that was your movie, Chris. Yeah, it was mine. Why, why, why don't you give us a like a breakdown of what the actual story is about, or can you recall? Um, now that was the first one I watched, so it's been a little while. Um, my memory yeah, is about like yours sometimes, so <laughs> yeah, Chris, explain the story because I just watched <laughs> it and I, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and the ending of it is very kind of well, I feel better, this, but that Josh didn't really understand it, as, unless you were just joking, because I certainly didn't. I just well, liked I it because it was violent it at all. I thought, I thought it was cool looking, <laughs> I thought that he had one eye and he was badass, and he's basically uh fucking michael bisping but a viking yeah. and i i'll tell you this the one critique i have that i did not like about it i fucking hate when they do digital blood um, dude what yeah. the fuck man how expensive is corn syrup like fuck man please make it, shit don't even put the blood on there dude like seriously if you did it without the blood i would rather have it no blood than digital like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles isn't any less fun to me because there's no blood when Leonardo uses his sword. It's still badass to me. You know what I'm saying? They want so to put like, blood all over that beautiful, what, Scottish countryside? I think it was Scotland where they filmed this. I, I, and I, uh, that's nitpicking. Otherwise, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Again, I don't, I, I need to rewatch this one. Um, For sure. But I, I I went ahead and bought a copy because I liked it enough to, to try to rewatch it later and learn more about it. Um, but I did wait till I watched it. I watched it then I bought it. Um, a lot of times I just go, eh, fuck it, and buy something. But this one I was like, I feel like I'm gonna like this, but you never know. So um, yeah, I don't I don't really understand what was going on. I know that it was like this Viking dude that was like a warrior guy, and then he was utilized to fucking kill a bunch of people. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, he starts off as a as like a prisoner and. Uh, finds like the with an arrowhead and is able to escape from his from his cell, and freaking pretty much kills all the dude except for this little kid that was like kind of nice to him a little bit in the beginning. So the kid goes off with him, and he gets involved with some some other Vikings, and they just go on this little journey, and he kills a bunch of people. Hell yeah, I fuck with that dude. That's simple. <laughs> to the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I wrote. Fit one thing down. Yeah. It's like, how can I be so bored and love a movie so much at the same time? That's amazing. Like, it <laughs> was <laughs> that was the best of... thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> how can I be so bored and yet love a movie so much? That's awesome. Like, oh, it, geez. it it was kind of boring in time, but like, I mean, the action was awesome. It was beautiful. Like. Every scene was just beautifully shot. Um, That's true. But it was cool. It's definitely one I want to watch again. Like, I think my score could probably go up a little bit more, maybe catch yeah. a few more things and, you know, feel a little bit better about it. But overall, I'm, enjoyed it. I'm thinking I'm probably right there with you. I think I got some room to grow on my score because I was a little bit confused. But. Whenever they speak with a thick accent of any kind, but they're speaking English, and it's a setting that I'm not super familiar with, I tend to need like a. Was that in English? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Were they, okay, dude. I said that, and I was like, "Wait a minute, is that why I was so fucking lost a lot?" Because <laughs> no, um, but uh, I find that I it's a little harder for me to really grasp it the first go round. That I just I just need more than one watch. It is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had a, I had a good time. It was it was a good good watch, but I, I do need to rewatch it. Uh, Josh, what what do you think? Other than that, you were confused. Um, I think I was kind of disappointed with it. Oh, really? Honestly. Yeah, I uh, I've been wanting to watch this one for a few years. Actually, it's been kind yeah. of on my on my radar. I really like Mads Mikkelsen a lot. Um, I don't know. It felt just it was beautiful, but it felt just like really pretentious and like. Like other than the, the the few action sequences, it's just it was just really, really slow. Um, it's a slow burn movie, in my opinion. I, I didn't. I, I agree with that. 
I feel like the there's some sort of symbolism behind it, but I symbolism. <laughs> I was waiting Sorry. for it. I will never stop doing that. <laughs> um, I, there's definitely some like a lot of like religious stuff going on with the you know I think that Mads Mikkelsen or well, the, the one eye thing has got to be something referring to Odin. Um, yes, I read then, that somewhere. Yeah, and then you've got the the Christians and the you know, the Indian people that come in at the end, and you see all the, like the burial grounds and stuff. There's got to be something there, but it was just felt kind of arduous and like i just didn't care you know i i I have a problem i have a problem with uh this director i think other than other than other than drive which is a great movie like everything else he does man i didn't know it was the same director yeah it's nicholas winding refn um, oh, I guess I should have. If I'd, have, I didn't even read the credits, dude. I would have, I would have recognized that guy's name. I knew, I knew he yeah. did Dirt Drive. Uh, if, don't ever listen to an interview with him because he's a horrible, pretentious asshole. Like, I <laughs> really, I cannot stand him. I like, he thinks he's like a master filmmaker. Like, he's That's the best. Dude, I and... definitely want to watch an interview now. <laughs> oh man, he, he's. <laughs> I, I yeah, it's grating to me. I probably but, shouldn't because I love Drive so much. I don't want to ruin that movie for me. Yeah, but... <laughs> well, I, I do too. Like when I saw Drive, I was like, oh, I'm gonna like dig into all this guy's stuff. And I, uh-huh. I think uh, I tried to watch Only God Forgives. I think I've tried to watch that movie like three or four times and never been able to make it through it. Wow, hmm. that's pretty bad. He has another I, big, big movie, doesn't he? I Excuse kind me. of I like oh, Neon sorry. Demon pretty well. Yeah. Um, but it's very pretentious. I won't say that it's not pretentious. It's Dude, I haven't pre- even made it around to watching that because of how many warnings you've given me about its pretentiousness that I've just, <laughs> I keep going. It's like been on my list for two years and I'm just like, ah, all right, I'll watch it later. And then I just, I look at it. Ah, I don't want to exhaust myself watching the movie at this point. I'm just like, I'm sitting down to enjoy something right now. I mean, it's not as slow as this, I think, but it's pretty slow. Yeah. And uh, there's some like, it's like his version of a horror movie. It's got some pretty like fucked up scenes in it. Um, but have yeah, you seen have ahead. you seen Bronson? Yes, I have seen Bronson. Bronson's uh, good. That was all. That was all the one I was thinking of. That oh, you like that directed. movie? I like that movie. Oh, that movie sucked. I, fucking it's ass. weird. Dude, that movie's fucking it's, terrible. It's super, <laughs> it's super weird. I'm not. I don't. I don't think I really liked it a lot. Like I. I, I was I was of... fucking furious when I watched that movie. Really? Yeah, really? because I had heard so many positive things about it, and I love. Wait, I'm not tripping, right? This has got Tom Hardy in it, right? Yeah, Tom Hardy. Yeah. Okay, I love Tom Hardy, so I was like, "What is this?" And they were like explaining, and I was like, "I was like, that sounds kind of cool." And I used to really want to like these art house type movies. I really did. I really wanted. Cause I was already into like a subculture lifestyle, man. I was like into indie music. And so I thought like, this is the direction I should go with my movies. This is why I've seen some of the stuff that I've seen that you guys are like, Oh, I'm surprised you've seen that. It's not because I actually love them. I don't like most of them. I just thought I would like them. So I tried to watch them <laughs> and I'm just not that fucking guy. But I, yeah. but I, but I went to watch Bronson and I was so fucking confused. I was like, what in the fuck am I watching? And I just, you know, my opinion is I, I just didn't dig it, man. What am I yeah. thinking? It's it's a weird movie for sure, and it's definitely not. I wouldn't put it on his best. I mean, Drive is, I think, by far his best movie. Uh, uh, based on what I know about his <laughs> filmography, yes, I would say so. Yeah, I mean, and I would even I would put Bronson probably well behind this, even. But oh, okay, I enjoyed it. No, oh, been a mean, while. You know, I mean, been a like the, talking with you guys as much as I have over the last twelve months, especially about movies, I've come to realize that. Like, especially about myself, even if there's a movie that's just shit, it doesn't matter. Somebody's gonna like it. Mm-hmm. If you look, I genuinely like watching all these Nick Cage movies. It's not that I'm being silly. I'm not. I actually like them. I enjoy watching him on on my TV. It happens to be kind of funny and silly. There's a couple I don't like. I don't really like the Ghost Rider ones at all. I think they're pretty bad. But other than that, most things that I see him in, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so I understand being like a, 
even like I won't call it a fan, but like being a fan of, you know, sort of uh, something that some people are like, uh, how? Like, I mean, literally, I've had to tell at least three or four people. They were like, name a good Nicolas Cage movie. And I'm like, you're kidding me. <laughs> name a good one. Well, I mean, shit, it's easier to name a good one than it is a really bad one. Uh, except Ghost Rider. That's easy. That's that's <laughs> that's, that's low hanging fruit. But but like, I mean, shit, dude, I'm looking at my thing right here. I mean. Most of these, I think, are pretty good. I wouldn't call all of them great, but there's a few great ones in here and some really good ones. And uh, I think it's, I think I'm, I'm starting to understand that just because my best friends don't like something or do like something, it doesn't fucking matter what my opinion is unless we agree. Then it's just fun. But if I don't agree, I don't take it. Per- I used to take that shit personally, and I'd be like, "What? How do you like that? You're fucking retarded. Like, <laughs> what? That shit is dumb." Except that. I'm that guy usually where I like some shit that people are like, what? I mean, look at how much I like Terrifier. Look how, look how fucking excited I was. Dude, I was like getting fucking up. I was all fucked up watching that trailer, dude. Like it was fucking me up. I, I, could, I was just, I didn't know what to say. I was just like, this is fucking awesome. I can't, I, I, dude, I was just like, I don't even, I'm pissed off that I watched this now because I have to fucking wait for it to come out. And I was just like, <laughs> God damn it. So like, I get it, man. I get, I get like, it's something that you're like, I don't really know why I just like it. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, every movie has a, a fan, yeah. yeah. There's, yeah. well, something something out there for everybody. Look at the room as a good example. That movie is objectively bad, but mm-hmm. fucking tons of people like it because it's so ridiculous. Because it's so fucking bad that you're like, yeah, yeah but like, is there a little bit of genius behind this? No, I don't think this <laughs> qualifies. But like, <laughs> man, is this guy like accidentally genius? Because it's so fucking. I mean, they made a movie that was on that movie that's the same fucking movie. Yeah. Like, I don't even. Oh God. Ugh. Anyways, what do you guys grade this one? Uh, out of seven. Uh, five point five. I was sitting nice at a six. Okay. Yeah, I, I I liked it. I'm gonna rewatch it, but I didn't really understand it. Thus, the six, not like a seven seven five. Um, I'm coming into my own when I grade movies now. I'm learning how I like to grade them, and I think that I still think a six is solid. I think it's. Yeah, I, th- I think when I when I hit five, it's teetering on bad. You know, mm-hmm. when I go down to four point five, three point five, that's pretty bad. Five and up is rewatchable. Five and up is solid. Eight, eight, five, nine. Those are like really, really great. Nine fives are rare, and tens are almost impossible. So I think I've finally figured out my thing. So a six to me is still pretty solid. I enjoyed it. I would, I'd like to watch it again. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, I know you don't care about Rotten Tomatoes, but that's their grading scale. Six. Or above is fresh, and everything below six is. Oh, really? Is rotten, I, I didn't yeah. even know that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I. It's not that I don't. I like the idea of Rotten Tomatoes. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. the execution I'm not a fan of, and I think it's because I feel like it's tainted. Maybe I'm wrong. I, you know, I'm, I'm. I'm okay with learning something and going. Oh, didn't realize that was the case. So if I come to find out something, you know, people people put too much stock in it. It's just an that's, aggregator. Okay. Yeah, that's all yeah, I say. Just, it, it just depends on how seriously people take it. People that understand yeah. how the scores are made, and then you know yeah. you can form an opinion from a Rotten Tomatoes score. You know you yeah, could have a mediocre that. movie, but a lot of people like it, and it gets a really good score. Yeah, yeah. Because if they everybody gives it gives it a six, it's still fresh. Right. You yeah. know, which means it's just uh, it's an okay movie, but it's uh, it's fresh. Some people live and die by it, though, and that's what. That's my problem. Right? I think yeah. is that I hear too many yeah. people be like, "Yeah, but it's good." Rotten Tomatoes said it was good. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, but I said it wasn't." So which one's more important? Neither. <laughs> They're both the same. Like my opinion is mine. Theirs is theirs. It is exactly just that. Oh yeah. man, I had a I had a little run in with the guy from Films at Home. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man, that guy pissed me the fuck off, man. And I had to say something. Uh, the thing is, is, dude. Full disclosure here. I 100% love what that guy does. I have a lot of respect for him, and I utilize his videos, learn a lot from them, and I continue to watch them. This is not a shit on that guy type of thing. It was just one thing that he's done repeatedly that I finally just got fed up with it and said something to him, and he responded immediately. And I was like, nah, bro, I got you beat on this one, man. Like, look, he, he does this thing where he, he like looks down on people for buying a movie that's out of print or something, and he's yeah, always like... That. I watched Dude. that video too. Yeah, well, go look at my comment. It, I, w- I was oh, I fucking see. irritated, man. I was <laughs> like, "Dude, you can't be a pretentious prick about somebody that goes and does something with their money. It's their money." Do I necessarily agree with people buying all these variants and shit with comic books? No, 
Well, give a fuck if you do it. If you're my close friend, I might advise you not to, but I don't care. And it seems like he has this like opinion of people that it's like that he think, thinks they're dumb. Like, you, why would you do that? Because he's a really frugal dude. You can tell that by his stuff. He's a frugal guy. He likes to save money. He's all about the deal. He buys these blind bags because he gets five Blu-rays for five dollars. He thinks that's great, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Buy one good movie for five dollars that you know you're going to get that you like. That's my opinion. But I don't have like fifty thousand subscribers, and so. He does this stuff. And all I said was, was like, you know, hey, look. And I even said twice, like, hey, I'm not trying to be rude or argumentative. I really like what you're doing here. I just think that it's I, – I don't understand why you do that. And he just goes, well, an, an opinion is just an opinion. And I was like, yeah, but when you have that many people that look up to you and listen to you, you have to take that into consideration. You have yeah. to. It's set, as much as I – and I even said this. I said, as much as I don't want to say this – with great power comes your great responsibility. There's a reason why that line is timeless. Because when you have, and I, and I said, look, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong, or that you're right or wrong, or that I'm right or wrong. I'm saying that maybe you just shouldn't do that. If you're going to have all these people, I said, I said, it rubs people the wrong way, man. People like me who just buy what I can buy when I can buy it, because I don't have the time to bargain hunt all the time. I It makes me feel like, it makes me feel kind of like you're like, I, like, like you're looking down on me. Like what? Did I, what the fuck did I do by buying a movie that's out of print? The market makes the price. If people are buying it, that's why it's that expensive. And I just thought it was real weird, man. I, I really, I, I wasn't trying to be rude. I wasn't trying to argue with the guy, but it it, it really bummed me out, man. Like, I was just like, fuck, dude. Like, it just seemed like he's like, man, I don't give a fuck what you think. And I'm like, oh, you don't have to care fuck what I think. But it's not me yeah. I'm talking about here. It's everybody else. Yeah, I've I've read like a few of his comments on like Instagram and and YouTube too, and he comes off a little short and kind of snotty to people that disagree with him. Yeah. Um, but I had the the exact same thought watching that video. I was like, wait, like somebody might really love that movie and just want a copy of that particular movie that's out of print yeah. that costs a hundred bucks, and they just want to buy it and they want to be happy with it. You know, like I, I'm kind of thought for myself because I don't have a thousand movies or 500 movies. I don't even have a hundred movies, Really, but if there's a movie that I really like, I might want to go, I'd rather spend a hundred dollars on a movie. I I mean, probably not. I wouldn't know if I'd spend a hundred dollars on a movie, but I'm just saying I would rather spend my money on a movie that I really like and spend, you know, a fifth of the price on some, a couple of random movies that I might not like as much. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. It just seemed like he's like, Oh, you're stupid for doing that. And it's like, what? Like, yeah. first off, you can't guarantee that a movie's going to get reprinted. You just can't. There's no guarantee. There is none. I don't give a fuck what he says. I don't care what history says. History is just a pattern, and a pattern can do this for 25 years, and then it might do this shit for a while. Like, yeah. we don't know. It's just like buying physical media. I agree with him on this, that the reason I buy it is because I don't know when it's going to get taken off of streaming services. Like, I don't, that's why, I, I also like to collect things. I'm an avid collector of things. I've done it my whole life. And I just, I don't know. I'm not mad to do it at all. I don't fucking care that yeah. much. But I, but I was like, I just felt like I was getting targeted, even though I wasn't. And I was just reaching out like, hey, I'm on both sides of the camera. I understand what you're saying. And I, and I, and I even mentioned, like, I know you can't really tell how my tone is coming off. I'm not trying to come off like a turd. Like, I'm just not. I just was like, this is just some, my my uh, feedback on your videos. I, I And I, I said more than once, hey, look, I tell all my friends about you. I, I watch every one of your videos. It's not that. This is not a... I'm going to fucking not be your supporter anymore. No, dude. I, 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 I just, he's got a big fan base now. And I feel like example, if, if I hit, if, and when I hit 10,000 subscribers, the amount of cursing that I'm going to do is going to dramatically decrease. It's just gonna, I'm going to make it a point to do that because I don't know who those 10,000 people, it might have some kids or some high school kids or some, people that don't particularly like it i don't know i will take that into consideration though it's just something i'm gonna do i've already been thinking about it now you know um and it's not me getting censored it's me making my own choice i'm making a choice to do that i can do it i just thought maybe he would i just thought he would like be more receptive to like oh man my bad or, or like oh i didn't realize it was sounding like that but he was just like yeah oh well <laughs> i was just like dang bro <laughs> yeah oh man He's a brash Boston boy, I think. You know, oh, is he from Boston? Yeah, yeah. he's in Boston. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always wears Red Sox <laughs> stuff. 
Well, I mean, I even was like, I even was like, yo, I would love to talk with you one day. Like, I, I dude, I'm not, I wasn't trying to yeah. be judgy or, or anything. I just thought, I, I honestly thought he would be more responsive to it, or I wouldn't have said it. Had I thought he was going to respond that way, I should have known. But I, I watch a lot of his videos. I get it. I should have known that he would have been like, oh, well. But I just, I thought, oh, he's growing quickly, man. He might really appreciate this information because it comes off really bad, dude. It makes him look like an asshole. Even though I don't think that he is, I think he's probably a pretty pretty cool dude to hang out with too. I mean, he's got tons of knowledge on stuff that I don't know anything about. So I love watching that guy's videos most of the time. But I was just like, dude, stick to your factual stuff. Like, stick to like specs and video stuff, and don't talk about your opinion on people's money. It's their money. It's, you're gonna look. You're gonna piss people off if you tell them how they can and can't spend their money. And uh, and then he turns around, and sells shit on fucking eBay for the prices that he's condemning you for spending your money on. Like he's like. Yeah. He's like, do not spend 80 bucks on Dawn of the Dead. But if I found a gonna, copy for five dollars. Here for, is it for no, yeah, he's like, but I've got it for sale. But like <laughs> he, he brags about these bargain bin finds that he's got. I'm like, bro, nobody finds that shit. You bought it for a dollar at a goodwill. That'll never happen again to anybody else. It's just not gonna. But anyways, enough of that. I just thought I really like that guy. Now I was bummed out. It kind of it put ruined my whole day. I was like fucking sad. I was like, dude, come on, man. Like <laughs> That's a bummer. Yeah. Anyways, he's still a cool guy in my book. I'm gonna still watch his stuff. Anybody out there that's watching this, I hope you do watch his stuff if you're interested at all in like 4K and audio stuff. That dude is top notch. Got a lot of knowledge. Um, Domino. Fuck, I love this movie, man. I forgot how damn much I enjoyed it. I don't know that I would call it like the greatest film ever, but I like it. It's a lot of fun. It's it feels to me like. Um, and I don't know when they came out against each other, like what years, but it feels to me like uh, what Smoking Aces wishes it was. Like, okay. it's gritty and grimy, but it's it's acted better. They took 25 people and took it down to like four or five people. They don't have, because like those, those movies are, could be really great, but they have like such a giant cast that it's like nobody gives their A game. You got everybody's B game because there's so many people. I feel like this one was just more of a, you know, cooked down version of that. They, 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 they cooked it down and had a more concentrated version. And, I, and again, not the best movie ever, but I really enjoyed it. And it had that same feel where it was an action movie with a story that was gritty. And they were telling some, there was like narration going on. It's very similar to that movie, to that kind of movie. There was a few movies like that. That's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. But uh, the whole time I was watching it, all I, all I could think of was like, A, I want to rewatch Smoke and Aces. And then B, damn, I think that movie is way worse than this one. And I was like, shit, that's unfortunate, because I like that movie. You know, okay, I don't love it, but I like it. Um, yeah, what would you guys think about the movie? Uh, I've, I've seen this before, but probably, uh, that, like, originally when it came out. Yeah. Um, I remember liking it, but I'm kind of torn on it. Like, Don't you do that, Chris. I, don't as you I'm playing. As I was watching it, I had like nothing. I got wrote down like a good little chunk of stuff. I think the only positive comment I had was Christopher Walken and of course Tom Waits. Uh, like everything kind of. Fuck Tom Waits. <laughs> everything kind of bummed me out about it. Like, I, like when I was finally done with well, the movie, well. like, like the color palette was annoying. Like, I feel like maybe this, like Josh is probably going to tear into it too. Like, can, uh, yeah, probably. can I cut in for a minute? Please, uh, I couldn't finish it. Really? <laughs> yeah, I I sat down three different times to watch this movie. No and one I, that doesn't even like, surprise me. And I watched about twenty minute chunks of it, and I had to turn it off. It <laughs> it made me. It actually made me angry. I think it's a. <laughs> it's like a badly made movie. I think. Uh, I, it's. I, I agree. I, I mean, think that the, I think so. We're all gonna disagree on that one, I guess. No, it's, it's fine. It's like if you if you get enjoyment out of it, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. But but for me, like uh, le, like especially <laughs> looking at at like the way sure things are shot and stuff, this. man, I I couldn't stand it. There's not a single shot that's more than uh, two or three seconds long. It cuts, 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 cuts. Oh, cuts, dude, cuts, see, cuts, I don't cuts, recognize that over edit, and over. The editing was one of the worst. Droid jobs I've ever seen. Editing. See, that's the kind of stuff I don't even I don't even pay attention to that. That, that, that doesn't that doesn't register on my on my on my brain at all. I, I don't even 
I, yeah. I don't know that it matters to me. Maybe because of I, how my knowledge on movies was gathered, it was different than yours. Like, didn't you do some kind of education in that field or no? I mean, just just not on my own. Oh, yeah. I, could, I, I honestly, I, I was I was genuinely asked. I couldn't remember if you had gone to like some, some amount of schooling for any of it or not, but. I know I've read that some the, books and stuff, but okay. Uh, so, but you, but you do nothing. have see that's different than how I've gotten my information. So, I would consider that schooling of sorts because you dove into it and you really. I I don't even have. I don't even know how to talk about it. I don't know. I, yeah. When you when you talk about the cuts and you call it editing, to me, I was like, oh, it is editing, I guess, because I don't even. That's just not how I gather that information, and put it in my basket and take it with me. That's just like, I just mm-hmm. watched it and was like, yeah, that was fun. Like, I assume that over the next couple of years, that'll probably change if we continue to do these shows and talk about it like this. I'll start to understand things differently, thus view them differently. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. Um, but like your reasons for not liking it up to this point, I mm-hmm. didn't even notice it. I, I'm not talking shit. I'm just making an observation. It's kind of yeah. surprising to me that I don't even notice that. Like I did, you said that the, none of the scenes went more than a few seconds, and I was like, "Really?" And like, yeah, I'm I was, yeah. I was sitting there <laughs> I was like, counting. I was really? sitting there ca- counting seconds uh, between cuts just to see if they they would give me a wide shot. And it but, was like, cut between character, cut to character, and it was like one, two, cut, one, two. Like it's like it's like so ADD. <clears throat> it drove yeah. me insane. Dude, you're you're lucky you cut it off before you finished it because like the end fight scene was fucking nauseating like and i'm kind of more on randy's side i i don't really pay i don't really pay attention to a lot of that stuff i never have but i i think kind of what he what you just said Randy, was starting to watch more stuff you know watching some really good movies and i'm think i'm starting to pay attention to stuff like that a little bit more i don't think i ever and (laughs) i i got halfway through this movie and i went well, this is a piece of shit. Dude, you know <laughs> God what it damn is? it. Dude, you know what it is? I love pieces of shit. <laughs> that's what it is, dude. If you look at my palette and go, what does he really love? You're like, well, that's a terrible fucking movie. That's a ter- Well, everybody likes these three, but God damn, these 47 over here are fucking awful. Like, I really don't even, I, I embrace the fact that movies like VFW are like my favorite fucking movies. Like, I get it. I just, I just, I, I don't. Yeah, but VFW, VFW is like, craft wise, is like a million times better. No, than I just that. looked over, saw that, and was like, it always pops out to me because of the way the spine looks. And I was like, yeah, that's the kind of shit I really. Wolf Cop. Y'all haven't seen that yet, <laughs> but whenever you do, inevitably that's coming. Uh, <laughs> that's the shit that I'm like, hell yeah. I don't know that it's a good movie, though. Like, I like it, but shit. I also like Domino. It's clearly not a good movie. I'm fucking kind of surprised. I didn't know. What, I, I knew Chris had seen it, but I yeah. thought you'd like it more than this because I, I remembered you saying you kind of enjoyed I, it. Josh, I didn't know what to think until you said it, and then I was like, why am I surprised that this fool didn't like this movie? <laughs> uh, well, it's a, the thing is, like, I generally like Tony Scott, and it's like one of those movies that I just never got around to, but I was like, it's probably fine. It's probably pretty good. Yeah. Um, and I like I really like Man on Fire. I, Dude, that's exactly what I was like. I think, th- is that the same guy that did Man on Fire? Because this movie, yeah. to so, me, is the same fucking movie. So he takes, he he has that style. He has that oversaturated, you know, yeah. quick-cutting stuff. But uh, maybe I need to go rewatch Man on Fire, honestly. No, no, you're going to fucking hate but, it. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> because he definitely, because I, 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 I've seen that movie probably 10 15 times so i it's really like i, that I really like that movie a lot but yeah and it has a lot of that it has it has the the like Dude, quick it also has didn't so wash automatically but, better <laughs> like i i feel like he kind of like started that style because you know if you look at top gun or something or true romance that stuff is not in there at all yeah. but he started slowly like incorporating that stuff into his movies um and i feel like this it was just like just like jam as much of that aesthetic into Might have it. been yeah. trying to really revolutionize something and just missed the mark. You know what I'm saying? Like he thought, like, okay, I'm gonna lean into this and I'm gonna make this like a thing. Cause you never know, dude. People after doing this stuff for so many years, you might think 
I've got something here. And try it. Didn't quite get there. And you just go back to doing it not as much. And you just stick with that because... And I don't know. I'm just speculating. I have no fucking clue what that guy was thinking. But, you know, I, I can only imagine what it's like to be a filmmaker, especially one that's made quite a few good movies. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like, the pressure's always on. No matter what you do, people are going to expect it to yeah. be pretty good. And it's like, yeah. fuck, man, I can't have a bad day? Like, shit. So, and his brother is also considered like one of the best directors, Ridley Scott. You know, yeah. Yeah. dude, uh, I never put together that those guys were brothers. <laughs> yeah. Again, this is what it, not what I pay attention to in movies. So, <laughs> you said that, and my brain went, "Yeah, dummy." <laughs> you should have known that a long time ago. I'm fucking, you're probably right, brain. Thanks, no problem. And then Pedro I, I, was like, "Oh." oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I do feel like the last few movies that Tony Scott made, though, kind of like just weren't, weren't th- as good. Th- they're, yeah, they just weren't th- that good. Like, I'll uh, look this stuff up right now, real quick. Yeah, we did, we did, Deja Vu is okay. That one's got Denzel. I really like that movie a lot, actually. It's got a yeah, weird was, story. Yeah, that was. I like the story of that movie a lot. Um, that. Taking of Pelham one two three. I remember that one. Not liking that one very much. That one's got Ooh, Denzel. Never, that's, I like uh, Enemy of the State a lot. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a oh, that's a that's an older one. That, yeah, ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's a good one. Pelham one two three. I I really like that movie. Um, Deja Vu. I really like. I didn't care for Spy Game. Was okay. Spy Game. I wasn't a big fan of. Yeah, it was kind of boring. Um, a team, I didn't care. Oh, he did the gray. No, no, no. It was probably, no. probably producer. Oh, yeah, probably. I like that movie a lot. Um, have you seen Out of the Furnace? Yes, I have seen that. Did you like it? Uh, yes, it was pretty good. I was on the it's fence got, about that one. I need to rewatch it. Woody Harrelson and Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, need to, I, I need to give that one a rewatch. I, I, I think I liked it, but I was like, kind of. I think now I'd probably like it a lot more than I did back then, basically. I, back then I was a lot more, I was more wild. I was more doing shit all the time. So slow burn movies didn't really catch my attention like they do now. Uh, yeah. I watched a movie called Back Country with Carissa. It was just one that I heard the name of. Like in one day, I probably heard that name three times from three different. I don't, I don't even know why. I feel like that kind of happens in the universe. It'll be like, hey, you need to watch this. And if you're not watching it, it's going to pop up on shit. And you're going to go, okay, I get it. And it just happened to be on uh, one of the channels I subscribe to. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that movie or not. But when I say that I've never had a slow burn payoff like that before, the end of that movie is fucking amazing. Like, I was like, holy shit. Man, that was fucked up. Like, me and dude, Carissa was just sitting here going, like, uh, do you know what, do you, have you ever heard of it? I'm not aware of that one. Super quick. I won't. T- I won't go too deep into it. It's a couple that go out into the uh, woods. I don't know where. Somewhere up north uh, to go on a camping trip. I believe the guy's like gonna propose to his girl or whatever. And so they go on this trip, right? And uh, as they get there, the local like guy running like the, the the store and like the trail guides and stuff. He's like, "Hey, look, this one is closed, and it's the one he wanted to use." He's like, "It's it was closed. We had something happen." Uh, you can use all the other trails, but this one you can't use. And the guy's like, oh, God damn it. I really wanted to go, blah, blah, blah. As a child, I did blah, blah, blah. And so he, uh, the guy goes, look, here, take this map and do this, and you'll be fine. Go anywhere else you want, and you'll be good. And the guy, like a smart motherfucker he is, declines the map. He's like, I don't need that. I've been here my whole life. And the guy's like, you should take this. And he's like, nah, I'm good. And inevitably that bites him in the ass. But they go out into this thing, and then uh, – Basically, they get lost. And I'm going to leave it at that. They get lost. And when I say that things get bad, it's you, when you see it coming, you're going to know it. They don't hide anything. This isn't a tricky movie. It's just here's the journey. And then you go, oh, fuck. And there's no brakes on this car. Awesome. And it's just going to happen. You're going to watch. It was, man, I was like, I just kept hearing about it. And, he- and I heard about it a long time ago, too. And I just never got around to watching it because it wasn't streaming on anything. 
I didn't own it. I couldn't find it for a good price. And I was like, eh, and I just let it go. I am 100% buying this movie, like for sure. And I'm going to I'm gonna make sure people have a way to watch it at the shop if they, if they want to. But um, if you get a chance, you should check that one out. I don't remember what it was streaming on. I don't know if it would be something that was free, so I don't know. I won't put it on the list or anything right now. But um, super, super good movie. I might put it on the list in the future if I, if, if I, if I know we can all watch it. Cool. I'm down. So cool. I don't even want to ask what you grade Domino. Oh, real quick, before we even go further, the story is about a bounty hunter. I heard it was kind of based on a true story. Uh, yeah, it said something it said something on it that it was based on a true story. Yeah, it's about and there, this... Isn't there like a scene in the movie where they're like selling the her story to a executive or something? Yeah. 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 It's Dude, I, all all I could think of was Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> and I was like, is that Mickey Rourke? Is Mickey Rourke Dog the Bounty Hunter? And Kira Nightingly is that woman's leg? <laughs> like, oh, that woman passed away. That was fucked up. I feel kind of bad now. Oh, well, whatever. It was still fucking... Anyways, it's about a bounty hunter. It's a girl that, that that's kind of a rich kid, but she likes to be violent. And she was kind of an outcast, kind of a loner. And be- becomes a bounty hunter. Is really good at it, but then gets caught up in some shit. And it's, it's, it's a crime movie. Uh, Action packed. It has got a lot of saturation, a lot of shaky cam, and clearly a lot of cuts. So yeah. uh, if you're not into that kind of stuff, maybe avoid this one. If you like that kind of thing, or you just simply don't care about that and doesn't bother you, then check it out. Um, we have pretty varying opinions on this one. So uh, I'm afraid to ask, guys, would you guys give this one on the grade? I have one more thing I wanted. To, uh, oh, sure. I'm I'll, sorry, Chris. One other thing I noted about it, like I found like the dialogue and just the writing like super super cringy. Like everything they did, the way she talked, like her like flipping nunchucks around, like it just felt like like a sixteen year old kid like wants to write this badass cool movie. Well, she was young as fuck, and she was a dude yeah. that fit the character. Like I I, yeah. I I can understand what y'all are saying about like how some of the technicalities weren't good, but the that felt extremely realistic to me as far as how they talked and how they acted, and also this movie came out when. Um, like oh seven or oh five or something like that. It's been a while. Two thousand and five. So it okay. is exactly what a two thousand and five action oh, movie was. So for sure. Like I didn't. So that being said, continue. Yeah, like I I didn't find like the like the script like particularly bad, but just I don't know, just some of the shit that they did in it just kind of bugged me. It just felt really cringy. Anyway, I it went. Happens and a I'll... lot of those movies from that era, though. Like, they, yeah. they, they were trying to be cooler than they were. And like, yes. and then John Wick comes out, and you're like, oh, fuck, that's what's cool. <laughs> like, because he doesn't try to be cool. He's just, he's just a cool dude. And, they, you know, so yeah. I, 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 I get it, and I agree even. But I'm like, I'll give him a pass. That's basically yeah, yeah. I mean, it is it is kind of a product of its of its era a bit. That's a good way but of putting it. I looked up the writer because I was kind of curious, like who who wrote this fucking thing? E. Herman. It's Richard Kelly, the guy that wrote Donnie Darko. <laughs> like, oh, that makes sense. Like he's famous for writing shit. Like I love Donnie Darko. I think y'all know it's like one of my favorite movies. But yeah. that's his one good movie. Like he hasn't made any other good movies. Yeah, he was a one hit wonder. He's made one good movie. <laughs> Yeah, Donnie Darko is hard to watch, man. I, it's been a while. I would like to rewatch it soon. I, uh, I think he just it just everything fell into place for that movie for him. It, yeah, like whatever. At least Dude, you know to me. Uh, this, but a lot of people a, like this is a good idea, Chris. Kind of explain to me. Not don't take too long, but like, what the fuck is Donnie Darko about? I would like to watch it, knowing a little more about it. Okay, yeah, that face right there is exactly <laughs> why I don't like that movie. Yeah, because you love that movie, and you were like, "I don't know if I can do all that." But um, well, it, it's a it, time this, paradox. <laughs> this similar thing that I think why I love Interstellar so much, it's got an, like another kind of similar like like messing with time thing. Um, I'm too dumb for movies like this. <laughs> so that's the thing that I kind of like. Uh, yeah, you know, it's super confusing. I mean, it's it like, really is. It's a very confusing movie, almost to the point where it's just like annoying. But <laughs> I mean, again, it's I think it's more like I saw that movie back in the day. I really liked it. I've continued okay. watching it, you know, off and on over the years. So I've kind of like kept up my love for it. Yeah. Um, if I just watched it blind today, I'm not sure I would opinion. feel the same way about it. But, you know, it's just one of those that works for me. 
Yeah. But so, anyway. No, it's all good. I, I, that, that's interesting that he wrote both those movies. I definitely wouldn't have thought that. Um, so what horrible fucking grade did you guys give Domino? I give Josh, it a, uh, four? Four. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm not going to grade it because I didn't finish it. Uh, dude, I was a slick re- way of avoiding giving it a zero. <laughs> I, dude, I almost forced myself to finish it just so I could grade it a zero. But I was like, <laughs> it's not it's not worth it. I'm just going to let it go. Oh, I, was kinda... I don't even want to fucking grade it now, man. Like, <laughs> I gave there's, it a seven, dude. Yeah, there's there's things thing. to in, enjoy in the movie, I think. Uh you know, it's it's got it's like it's Christopher Christopher Walken. It's my favorite Kieran Knightley movie, dude. Like out of all the shit she's ever done, easily the best movie that I've seen yeah, her she's, in. She's she's good in it, and like I, I like the kind of like weird uh, Mexican dude. What's his name? Like Choco or yeah, that guy's fucking was. weird. As fuck, bro. Uh, Christopher Walken's hilarious. Just his few lines that he has in it are just so perfect. Dude, what was he yelling Walken. about in that movie? He was like, he fucking did something. He changed the something. He the was fuck? pissed up. Yeah, he changed the, the font. font. I was like, I was like, I feel you, Christopher Walken. <laughs> I'd be mad as fuck if somebody changed my font and didn't ask me first. That's funny. <laughs> Why'd you change the goddamn font? Can I say real quick before we move on? Uh, mm-hmm. Her name is Kira Knightley. Yeah, Knightley, N- not Knightley. I, I said Knightley. Yeah, every time you brought her up, you always say Knightley, and Damn. I like, I, I didn't want to be that guy, but no, I dude, can't. be that guy, please. <laughs> Don't make me be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Knightley. I yeah, think I've yeah. been saying that the entire time I've ever known about her. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Fuck my life, dude. <laughs> Why did I think it was night? I don't care. Whatever. Uh, cool. Fixed. <laughs> I'm going to fuck that up again next time I talk about her. I guarantee it. Um, <laughs> uh, soon, very soon, I think we're going to have to watch this one as a group. Yeah, I'm down for uh, that. I don't know that I have the desire to watch that one right now because it's a pretty bleak movie. But uh, maybe next couple weeks. I got. I already had two that I was really thinking of. Man, I just keep looking down and seeing that I wrote down that movie Antlers. What the fuck's up with that movie? Is it coming out? I heard I mean, it was, but I, don't, I mean, nothing has a date right gosh, now. Like so. at some point, Randall. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> is any movie coming out? Yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> not this year. Because well, uh, that's an that's an A twenty four movie, right? Yeah, and I really want to watch so. it. Cause there's another one, um, the Green Knight. Is that that's another A24 yeah, movie? That, that? Cool. Uh, it looks it looks badass. Um, what is it? I've never heard. Of it. I, it's been a while since I've watched the trailer for it, but yeah, uh, it's got the uh, the um, I forget Indian guy from uh, from Slumdog Millionaire or whatever. Okay. I forget the actor. Dev name, but... Patel. Yeah, Dev Patel. Yeah, Dev Patel. How did I don't know. Dev Patel. <laughs> Dev. Uh, yeah, you know. but it's like a fantasy type movie. It looks pretty okay. cool though. Yeah. Hey, I'll give that a try. I like but what most of what A twenty four is doing right now. So yeah, but yeah. it's like a it's like a dark like they they like darked it up and made it like super kind of like gritty and uh, that's kind of the point of it. So it looked I'm cool. Cool with that, man. I'm so excited. For terrifier 2 i just wanted to say that again <laughs> bro man did y'all watch the trailer at all either of y'all yeah i think yeah. i watched it before you did <laughs> oh probably yeah you probably did dude i got home and i was so antsy i, d- I didn't even want to do the re- reaction video because i was like i'm gonna fuck this all up because i couldn't sit still dude i wanted to watch it so bad <laughs> but, the, but the part in the trailer whenever that girl she's like huh and she looks over and he's like leaning against the wall and he just, he just goes like this like that, yeah. it's super corny and super 80s, but I fucking did. I was like, hell yes, because I know that pretty soon after that, some kind of big sharp object's coming out, and he's going to try to impale her on it, and I hope he gets her. Who the fuck's rooting for good guys in these movies, dude? Yeah, I don't know. Assholes, that's who. <laughs> They're like, kill the bad uh, guy. What? No, the whole reason we're watching this is for the bad guy. I was going to save this for later, but since you brought it up... <laughs> um. We, I have a secret, or I was going to have a secret review that I was going to bring up, but uh, I said before that I was going to try to watch Terrifier, and if I hated it, I just wasn't going to bring it up ever. But this is me bringing up, I watched Terrifier, 
the other day. And it's so fucking make- awesome. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Dude, it, it was so much fun. It was just silly and awesome and gory. It, it was everything. Yeah, it's I, not serious. Like, for sure not a serious. No. Like, Art the Clown is awesome. Like, Dude. his weird little things he does when he's fucking with people is hilarious. And it, say, it was everything I... I see ex- Josh inside going... <laughs> I think Randall's jerking off over there. <laughs> He's oh, like, I'm definitely jerking really? off, dude. It's just like, <laughs> yeah. like it was. It was everything I expected it to be. It was everything I wanted from it. And like this movie has no business being that fucking cool for as little of a budget. It was made for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Like, the budget on it's pretty uh, st- it, it's like astounding. Like you're like you're like how much did that cost? Wow. So like knowing that they've got a reasonable budget this time, it excites me, <laughs> but it kind of worries me. The trailer looked great though, so I'm hoping that it just. I trust the director. Based on watching his only two that I know of him, but they both are very. They they work, but yeah, man, I'm 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 glad you liked it though. Like like sincerely, like that makes me really happy. It makes me, yeah. I'm like fuck. Now he <laughs> understands why I spent so much money on this stupid ass movie because it's not necessarily your style like it is mine. But you can at least yeah. go, oh, I get it now. That's his favorite shit. Because oh, yeah. It is- I, yeah, I for sure get it. And like, I I, I wouldn't have brought it up if I'd have just watched it and, and yeah. hated it. Oh. That would have really irritated me. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, look, you can have an opinion, but I don't want to fucking hear it. Like, <laughs> and I was gonna say it for the end, but you brought up Terrifier again. Dude, I, so. I, I, all I've been thinking about those whole fucking shows. How much I can't wait for that movie to come out. <laughs> oh man! Uh, do you know how much uh, how much the budget is for the new one? I don't. But I, will, I will find out. Um, I'm just curious. Was like, I, don't, was I, it... I don't know, but it looks so nice. I bet it's a fair amount. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I was. I, mean, I wasn't thinking nearly as low as a hundred thousand. Damn! For, if you put in Terrifier two, the third thing that comes up is budget. Yeah. Let's see. I, I would be willing to bet it's still fairly low budget. I would for a studio it. movie, but it's well, probably gotta, like four or five million, maybe, if that. And I don't know what this means, so I I may not even be giving you any information that helps. But it says that. Wait. Well. Wow. Um, so this the only thing that I see immediately says Terrifier 2 fully funded in less than three hours. It says the fans have spoken. The eagerly awaited sequel to director Damian Leone's Terrifier has blown past its initial funding goal of 50K in a matter of hours. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's just what they needed in addition to what they had. Mm-hmm. $50,000 is not a lot of money no. for a movie. So I'm assuming it was quite a bit more than that, but I'll look at, I'll look a little bit more into it and see if I can find out anything. Let's see. I'm sure they'll put the numbers out whenever it comes yeah. out, you know, at some point. I was just curious if you had heard. Yeah, no, I, that's the kind of stuff that when I hear the information, I like to know, but I don't dig for it at all. But yeah. uh, I knew the first one was super cheap, but, um, I think the one of the reasons why I like the first one so much is because when I first, I don't know if I even told you, you probably did, that when I first watched it, I didn't like it at all. Like, I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? I didn't even finish it. I was like, this is terrible. And I, I turned it off. And then I was like, why did I not like that? I love movies like that. And I just waited a little while and watched it again. And then I was like, oh, Jesus, I just wasn't in the mood for this. <laughs> like, I was in the, I was just was in the mood for something else. Because I was like, yeah, this is amazing. Like, what? A, I felt like smacking myself. I was like, what the fuck? This is awesome. Yeah, I had I'd watched... Candyman earlier in the day and then not a bad jo- thing to follow it with josh said something about terrifier 2 trailer i was like oh so my, you know what i'll check out the trailer you know doesn't hurt I was like oh that looks pretty fun it's like you know what i wouldn't mind fucking watching the original one i think i mentioned you know, it in text but i know you were busy that day I, that was, I, I i definitely didn't see that, that was at all friday i think wasn't it uh when the trailer yeah, came out friday yeah. If I'd have known you were watching it, I would have watched it right there with you. Dude, I <laughs> yeah, watch the movie all the time. Yeah, it was it was Friday. So 
watched the trailer and went, fuck it, turn it on. And Dude, the last time I watched it, I was so fucking pissed off because I was really tired and I fell asleep during it. And I was so pissed that I missed all the shit I wanted to see. <laughs> and when I woke up at like 10 in the morning, I started watching it again at like 10 a.m. And Crystal walks in and she's like, oh, Jesus Christ, at 10 in the morning? I was like, I, I got to finish it, man. I fell asleep. And she was like, whatever, just close the door. Yeah, you're watching him saw through an upside down naked chick at 10 in the morning. Bro, bro, yes. <laughs> all day. I put that shit on repeat. Um, dude, on that, on, uh, he did an interview and he was talking about how they have upped that kill. He's like, we've, uh, blown past the, uh, infamous hacksaw scene. And I just started laughing. I was like, well, first off, I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Second, I don't know how. Third, I hope you did. Cause that's fucking great. Yeah. But, um, the next the, he said he has a plan for a trilogy. And that, that's it. He's not going to go past the trilogy. Doesn't want to. Doesn't care if he gets a bunch of money. He's like, no, this is a story. It's got a trilogy. After that, I'm done with it. And I think that I, I feel like he's the kind of guy that'll stick to his guns about that and maybe just make something else. I was saying that to say that if I, if I get word that there's funding going on for the third movie, I've already got the okay from the wife to put some money into it. I'm going to find out if I can get killed in Terrifier 3. And if they do a thing like they did with this one, I'm going to absolutely put that money in there. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'll I'll sell all my movies and put it into that because that would be fucking <laughs> just just to be in that, bro. I would I might cry. Like I would be so fucking stoked. <laughs> I'll for sure be nervous. I'd be scared. I'd have to wear a depend so if I peed on myself, it'd be all right. <laughs> be like man, why'd your pants look all funny? I'm like, yeah, I had a diaper on full. I had to I had to pee on myself. But uh, well, let's talk about Candyman for a minute. Um, I love that movie. It's a lot of fucking fun. It's a good movie. It holds up. Uh, the story's cool. It's way gorier than you realize it's going to be. Like, all of a sudden, it's just like, oh, shit. Um, and that guy's scary as fuck. What's his name? Tony Todd? Is that the same? That is it? I don't know. I might be thinking of something completely different. So I apologize in advance if that's the case. But, um, yeah, what would you guys think of Candyman? Have you all seen it before, or is this the first time? That was, that was my first watch. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, first time for me too. Did you like it at all? Yeah, I did like it. Yeah, Tony Todd, that's who it was. Um, I liked it because I thought it came out right before the big 90s slasher thing. Like right before Scream came out, it came right before all the urban legend and all that stuff. And I thought, like, damn, urban legend out of all those slasher Scream copycats. Urban Legend is the only other one that I really like that I think that did it right. But then when I watched this, I was like, fuck, this is so fucking good. And I thought it was so much better than Urban Legend. Still like Urban Legend. Still watch it. I'm not going to not like it. But I was like, shit, dude. Like, I kind of wished I hadn't went back and revisited it because it almost made me not like Urban Legend as much. But I just bought like this nice collector's edition set. And I was like, fuck. But it. It's good, man. It's it's it tells that story so well. Like there wasn't a lot of stuff like that when this one came out. Like there's been plenty of stuff about like oh this old wives tale, but this was like really focused on the fact that it was an urban myth and yada 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 and they and they went into like this uh it felt like I I know exactly why Jordan Peele is doing mm -hmm. this. Like yeah, it I, does have a social commentary behind it for sure and i was like fuck this walks that line really well like i thought of it i saw it i was like damn all the stuff i've been saying about that kind of thing but i love candy man but i think i've been watching candy man since i was a young kid so it's part not, of it's that it's, not, it's not nearly as on the nose as something like get out is though correct yeah. and my my only thought now is is like shit i'm a lot more worried because what he what what he could do is he could do it like they did it I fear that he's going to do it like he does it. And I'm, and he's entitled to do that. And people are going to love it if he does it. And I'm not even saying it's going to be a bad movie if he does it. Mm -hmm. I'm just afraid that I'm going to not enjoy it. And it's going to make me sad because this is a character in a movie that I really love. And I want to be supportive of the black community, even when it's just with movies. So I don't want to be forced into like supporting something I don't like just to support it because I'm gonna, I'm going to support this dude. Cause he's a great filmmaker, 
we don't have to agree on everything. To, to I, I don't understand people's pedestal they put Scorsese on as much. I, I get it, but I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say it right. I, I don't quite agree. But I'll always buy that dude's stuff. I'll always support it because he needs to keep making movies. He needs to. We need him to keep making movies, regardless of what I think about him. The Irishman was fucking great. I want more of that. So even if this guy doesn't make the movie that I want him to make, I'm still going to pay for it. I'm still going to buy a copy of it. I'm still going to probably give a copy away. Um, but I really, I'm really hoping that he, that he kind of maybe leans back a little bit on it and goes, all right, look, let's try to follow that game plan and mm-hmm. recreate this movie versus remaking that movie. If that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and he is only producing the movie. He's not directing it. Fuck my life. I did not know that. Yeah. Who's directing yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a female filmmaker. I don't, don't remember her name. Uh, oh, yeah! Uh, <laughs> no, <man>. uh, <laughs> uh, I don't... That's yeah, I, I'm not I familiar kinda, with I her, but... I almost said something really fucked up just as a joke. I thought people won't get it. I'm not... I don't want to get <laughs> crucified for being silly. That's yeah, cool, he's, though. He's, yeah, he's just... Uh, uh, producing it interesting so. i didn't know that well then i'm a lot i'm a lot more uh hopeful at this point to be honest because i'd like yeah. to have his hands on the project but not being his project that might even be it might turn out to be fucking great yeah I, 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 make a great movie. he probably will yeah i watched the trailer for that you know when it, when the trailer came out you know like a month or two ago i don't remember when but, but and i wasn't really yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's not really my thing. I didn't really care. But I watched it again today after I watched the original, and I was like, you know, now that I kind of have context, mm-hmm. I'm a little more interested in it. I probably will check it out now. Yeah. I'm going to uh, rewatch the trailer. I don't even know that I have. I might not have watched it. I don't know that I have. I can't remember. Who knows? It looks I'll... pretty good, honestly. It looks yeah. pretty good. I'll check it out tonight when we get done. Yeah, I haven't watched um, it. I'll have to go watch it now. I'm really enjoying the reaction videos that I'm making. I like making them as long as I can stick with stuff that I'm actually talking about and not doing something about something else. Uh, I might do a little video with that one. I, I, I'm interested. I don't know that I've even watched that, but um, yeah, man, Candyman I think holds up holds holds up really well. I'd like to look a little bit deeper into it and find out who does all the makeup and shit and all the special effects because I don't know. I don't if it's not Savini, I don't usually care. Um, Clive Barker has something to do with it, right? Yeah. Oh, didn't, he, didn't he write or something? Uh, I think yeah, he I think wrote so. and produced or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I think so. That flashed off. Uh, I flashed across in the credits. I mean, the opening credits. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, Clive Barker. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he wrote. He he wrote it. it were, it's based on the Forbidden. That it's a book he wrote or a story yeah. he wrote. Excuse me, a story he That's wrote. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And it kind of had yeah. a car- Clive Barker. I haven't seen a lot of his movies, but I've seen a few Hellraiser movies, and it kind of like with like with the bees and you know a few other yeah. like little visual visual things. I mean, the visuals and the like the practical effects were good. Yeah, I enjoyed them. Man, Hellraiser fucking sucks, dude. That is an overrated ass movie, man. <laughs> there's some there's some very bad. I've only seen like I don't know two or three of them, and dude. I remember liking the first one. Well, so I recently watched all of them. Not all of them. Mm-hmm. That's a lie. I watched three of them. Trying to like them, thinking I would, and being so fucking disappointed. <laughs> I was like, man, did I ever like these movies? I don't know that I did. I don't think I did, to be honest. They're not good. Um, hot take. Uh, Hatchet is better than Friday the 13th. Video coming soon, folks. Um <laughs> That's another movie that I don't understand all the fucking dick sucking about, man. Friday the 13th movies, I don't really get it, man. I think they were the catalyst to a lot of great shit happening. but And I don't want them to ever go anywhere. But I don't understand. Like, the character's fucking cooler than the movies are. I mean, I would think that that's probably the main selling point. Well, like, the first movie, spoiler alert, he wasn't the fucking killer. The second movie, he wore mm-hmm. a fucking bag on his head. He didn't get his mask until the third movie, and that's all you think about is him with the mask. So it's, uh, to me, I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, if they didn't make at least three of them, you wouldn't even have the same character. Like, you wouldn't even know that that's what he was supposed to look like. Um, yeah. hmm. I did not know that. 
Oh, dude, I I'll think, go on a fucking rant about this shit. It drives me nuts. I think I think I have only seen Freddy vs. Jason is the only <laughs> Jason movie I've seen. <laughs> That's funny. That makes me happy on a level that I did not expect to reach today. That's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and I love that fucking movie, by the way. If I'm going to watch any fucking Jason Voorhees movie that I love, it's it's Freddy vs. Jason. I remember Jason enjoying X, it. That was fun. It's silly. But uh, yeah. the one where he puts the girl in a yellow sleeping bag and slams her against the tree, that was cool. Um, yeah, that movie, that, that was, that, that part was fucking amazing. He's like, this chick's in this, like, she's hiding from him in a sleeping bag and he, like, comes up and he, like, sees it move and he, like, Zips it up and just picks it up and just starts slamming it into a fucking tree. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Without being gory at all, that is the most violent thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and the noises, dude, it's just like, crunch, uh, crunch, uh, and then fucking, uh, yeah, now that kind of shit I love. But uh, as a series, I just don't get it, man. That shit is not, it's not that good. Um, Michael Myers, very well made movies for the first two. Uh, extremely well-made films. Uh, Freddy Krueger, really scary, and a lot of cool shit happening. And it kind of, you know, but I thought that the Friday the 13th one was the only one that I thought just kind of was like, meh. Um, but there's a lot of these big, famous uh, horror franchises that I don't particularly care for, to be honest. I don't like Child's Play either. Um, I don't like Hellraiser. Uh, I'm much more of a... Uh, I, I want ultra violence and really gory shit because if it's not going to have that i can get all the other shit i like out of better movies you know yeah I mean, story and, tell and you're a slasher guy and yeah and i'm a slasher guy well, i guess that's what friday the 13th is well that's the thing is that there's a bunch if... of them that i don't like but like uh, the hatchet movies it's even got the same dude it's got the guy that played fucking jason Voorhees in it <laughs> and it's whatever you think of friday the 13th you're thinking of Hatchet. You're not thinking of that movie. It's it's Friday the Thirteenth movies aren't very gory. They're not. They're they're, they're a little bit, but the, you know a lot of them were made in the early '80s, so the gore even looks shitty. But Hatchet, it starts off and it's gory and it's violent and it's gross, and you're like, oh, and then you go watch one of these other ones. You're like, oh, geez, that's terrible. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm gonna. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I just don't have much to add because I've yeah. seen the first Friday the Thirteenth and I haven't seen Hatchet and you know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't, most of that stuff. I don't. I don't think that you'd like Hatchet, but I don't think that you'd hate it. I think that if you're in the right mood, you'd enjoy it. But I don't think yeah. you'd ever really care to rewatch it. That's. I haven't brought that one up very intentionally because I was like, man, I'm not trying to ruin that for him. If you ever want to watch something like that, you should check that one out because it's a good version of that. So mm -hmm. I've just been like, I'll let it, him decide one day to go. Hey, Rando, what's a good gory B movie to watch? Hatchet. Um, it's yeah, like those. Those classic franchises, though, I've only seen like the first one of all of them. I've yeah. seen Nightmare on uh, Elm Street. I've only seen the first one. Yeah. I've only seen the first Halloween. I haven't messed with any. I saw the new one, but ha uh, Halloween Two is really good. I've Nightmare, heard that. On Nightmare on Elm Street Two is fucking trash. The third one is fucking excellent. Heard uh, that. And then I don't really care for the the Friday Thirteenth stuff. The newer Halloween stuff I don't really like, to be honest. I hate Rob Zombie so. Um, no, the, the new new one with yeah. Uh, no, I was just thinking of like the progression of it all, and I was thinking backwards, yeah. and I was like, okay, the new ones I don't really care for that much, but I like them all right. And I was like, oh, the one before that was even fucking the, the Rob Zombie ones were trash. The latest one, it's got Jamie Lee Curtis in it, right? Yeah, I like that, that one pretty well. Like, like she's playing like a grandmother, right? Like the oh, yeah, yeah. I genuinely cannot remember if I liked it. I feel like I did. I need to rewatch that one. I'll give that. I a thought try. it was pretty. I thought it was pretty solid. Yeah, I'll, I'll rewatch that one. I, I really like Jamie Lee Curtis, like just especially in that role. So yeah. if she's in it, they, I'm definitely on board at least. I felt like they kind of did the Terminator thing with her, where she's like in the first Terminator, she's definitely like just running away from, you know, Michael Myers, and then she comes back and she's like the big like I'm like I I got my house set up, I'm ready for this motherfucker. <laughs> right? It's like she's like well she's like I got tired of running. And yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna stand my ground and i'm like there you what? go you had a lifetime of learning how to fight this guy let's yeah. do it well she was like damn it now know. i'm gonna watch that fucking movie tonight i want to go to bed <laughs> i'm tired um well yeah. candy man's pretty self-explanatory it's an urban myth movie and it's got a lot of like you said context of uh like a cultural context it's got a lot of uh social commentary social commentary 
Um, but it's an excellent movie and it holds up really well. I would love to know what you guys graded that one. We'll give it a seven. Yeah. yeah. I was I was kind of the middle of the road on it, honestly. Okay. Like I I liked it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I just after it was over, I was just like, okay. Like that yeah. was a movie. I watched okay. it. Um, but I, I, I give it a six because I do think it was very well done for its time okay. and held up much more than I expected it to. I, I yeah. Gave, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, I just, I was just going to kind of add to that. I kind of agree that it held up pretty well, but it's yeah. also one of those ones that you can look at and say, I could see why they, uh, you would remake this because you can kind of yeah, update it, some of that yeah. stuff. Like That's it's true. one of those movies that is dated in some ways, not in a bad way, but you can yeah. kind of refresh it a little bit. Bruce, I, I would, I would like knowing what I know about your taste in movies. I would like you to let this one simmer for maybe six months and then give it a rewatch if you have the time. Okay. And I'd like to see if your opinion changes. Uh, not because I think it will. I'm just curious to whether or not it will. Uh, I feel like. Okay. It it very well might, and I don't know if it's gonna be positive or negative, but I feel like your opinion might change on it in a few months because a lot of times when we schedule these movies, we don't really have a choice of whether or not we're gonna watch them. We just watch them, and yeah. that's the problem with uh, movie critics watching a movie one time and then giving you a critique on it. It's mm -hmm. immediate and it's you got your emotions in it versus like you know, like like imagine if Stuckman could go watch a movie a month before it came out and not a week. And then he could go watch it again a week before it came out. I feel like, and he's excellent at his job already, so I'm not, I'm, I, who the fuck am I to tell him how to do his job? But I feel like we might not get necessarily better movie reviews from him, but we might get some that would be more true to his actual feelings. Because I feel like on sometimes, maybe he's not feeling like watching an action movie, but he's got to because it's part of his job. And he goes and watches it, and he's just like, yeah, I give it like a B. But like, half the year later he's like no that's like one of the greatest action movies like imagine if he graded john wick poorly and then was like wait i was just having one of them days where i would rather have watched a cartoon because i was just kind of feeling kind of meh you know mm -hmm. yeah uh so i feel like if 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 that was allowed that would be really fucking cool um of the movie studios to be able to find a way to do that somehow uh which leads me to my reason behind that was i would just like to see if your opinion changes if you ever feel like watching a movie that you're not super familiar with, but maybe one you've already seen and go, you know what? I'm going to give Candyman a retry. If you ever get that opportunity, let me know what you thought, please. Okay. I'm I, graded, I graded that one an 8.5. I think that it's damn near like classic status. Like it's, it's way up there for me. Um, I do reserve the right to change that if the new one comes out and it's just amazing and just updates all the shit that needs to be updated. Uh, it might bump this one down a little bit to give that one room. But as it stands right now, I think this one is, if they didn't make another one, even though we all agree that they should, or not should, but that they it could use an update, I would be okay if they didn't. I would rewatch it and own it and love it anyways. So that's my opinion on that. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm glad you guys liked it. Or I'm glad Josh liked it, and I'm glad that you didn't hate it for sure because that would suck. Yeah, I definitely <clears throat> didn't just dislike it. Yeah, I was, it was happy it, to have watched it. <laughs> was it me, or is the the Candyman guy kind of look like OJ Simpson? Oh no, he definitely kills white ladies. <laughs> <laughs> like for sure, <laughs> Tony Todd is the juice. Uh, I, kept, I, kept, I just kept thinking that it's just it's just oj simpson in a big coat <laughs> it's incredibly racist of you josh what are you trying to say uh, just, uh, okay let's talk to you guys <laughs> i got i got two movies that i'm kind of worried about that i want to watch this week is it Domino guys... two and smoking aces <laughs> <laughs> oh shit no it's wolf cop and fucking uh Oh Jesus, no, man. Um, so uh first off, did y'all have something that y'all picked out or no? Yeah, I had I something. Won. Cool. What'd you guys pick out? Um, I know both of you guys have seen this movie and really like it. It's been one we've talked about and I've wanted to watch it. Terrifier? That was the time. 
<laughs> Green Gosh, room. Like, oh, God damn. There we nice. go. Cool. That is a good choice. Time for oh. me to finally watch that. Well, I can tell you right now that this one's going to get a pretty high grade from me. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This one, this is probably a 9 or higher for me. <clears throat> uh, fuck it, dude. God damn, I love that movie. I can't wait to watch that again. Uh, what about you, Mr. Josh? All right, for me, I picked something a little little more niche. Uh, it's a Martin Scorsese movie that I have a feeling you guys have not seen. I thought that's what you were going to pick. Yeah, it's called After Hours. It's I not, don't recall seeing that one. Okay. It's, uh, it's the closest thing you ever made to a comedy. Oh, it's really? actually... <laughs> Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. It's like an hour and 37 minutes. It's one of his shorter nice. movies. Um, that I actually think... helps me a lot because I was like, damn, is this going to be like a big undertaking? Because some of his stuff is pretty long. Yeah. No, I think I think this movie actually made him like a better filmmaker. Like yeah. it's cool. it's not like one of his top tier movies, obviously, because, you know, like Goodfellas and stuff are it, departed yeah. and stuff are like it's way up be, there it's hard to be on his top but list <laughs> it's one of those like really solid movies that he made that is like totally underrated and nobody talks about it and yeah, i opinion. don't know that i've ever even heard of it to be honest with you yeah i haven't it's like kind of a dark surrealistic <laughs> comedy but it's 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 fun and it's a breezy hour and a half so okay and it's so, a the main actor is the guy from uh uh american werewolf in london hell yeah that's cool um okay so my first movie for somebody that doesn't like a lot of social commentary and politics in his movies this one just stuck out to me it's called the assistant are y'all familiar with that at all have you heard about this movie i don't i don't think so i think so it doesn't ring a bell it's, it's got that sexy white trash chick from uh fucking this is a new movie isn't it I don't know. Is it? I honestly have no idea. Assistant. I think I have heard of this. It's got that cute blonde haired, curly haired girl from uh, what the fuck? 2019? Ozark? Yeah, Ozark. Yeah, it's the Ozark chick. Yeah, I just think she's fascinating looking. But uh, but I heard, I, the only reason I caught this trailer is because I saw her face and I was like, oh, what is she in? I didn't know she had ever been in anything else. And so I watched the trailer three times because I was fucking confused. I was like, what the fuck? And it looks... It's a drama. It looks mm -hmm. awesome. It looks great. I, I I only had seen maybe two people talk about it, and they both said it was really good. But it's one of those ones that I literally saved to talk with you guys about because I thought there was a pretty good chance you guys would like it. Um, so that one... And then the one that I was a little bit hesitant about... That I, I, but I, it's called Society, and it is absolutely a horror movie, and it is from the early '80s. Um, how do I explain this movie, man? I don't know that I'm going to be able to very well. Uh, it, up. it, it's an Arrow video release that I've had for a very long time and I haven't opened it and I decided I was going to open it and I was like, you know what? If I'm going to open this, <laughs> I want to watch it with the guys. I'm reading the description. Yeah, this is so 80s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, it I hear like it, it. My Everything that I know about it is said that it's executed just very well and that the okay. uh, it's got a lot of really great practical effects is what I'm hearing. And since I picked a drama that probably won't have any of that kind of shit in it, I thought, well... I gotta watch at least one silly ass fucking movie. Um, man, that cat like is a... not. Is your cat abusing you guys? Is that what's happening? Uh, my wife. <laughs> oh, she's abusing the cat. <laughs> no, she up. dropped something down the stairs, so it made oh, a bunch of noise. Good grief! Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. So I said, "Chill out, Megan." Uh, yeah. Sounds like she broke something. Oh shit! <laughs> um, but yeah, those are the two movies that I picked. I. I... I almost picked a different horror movie, and I just thought that you guys wouldn't care for it. So I, I just thought this one, I haven't seen it, and that's going to be rare that I pick a horror movie for us to watch that I just haven't seen. So It's risky. I, I, yeah, I hope it's good. So <laughs> I, I hope it's good. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I'm done. Uh, it says horror comedy, so. It's yeah, it's definitely got some silliness in it. Yeah. It's like this... Uh, 
people are basically buying people to turn into younger themselves. It's body horror. Like it was on a list with the fly. I'll give you, I'll tell you like that. Like for like okay. body horror, weird graphic shit that was like well made. So, uh, I finally decided to open my video and watch it. And I was hoping you guys would watch it with me. So yeah, man, good talk, man. Good times. I fucking miss you guys. Dude, I can't wait till we can hang out soon. Yeah, I feel like it's been a while. Yeah. Well, I thought I Josh I... was going to come up to the shop this weekend, but you were busy doing other things. So hopefully you can come up and see the place soon. With your family. Sorry. <laughs> oh, know. no, I wasn't saying it like that. I just... <laughs> no, I just... I, uh, <laughs> fuck, man. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm bringing you beer, Chris. Calm down. <laughs> no, like... Because I, I, I didn't hear from you this weekend, and you were like, when you said, sorry for being quiet, I was with my dad or whatever, and you were like, I was out with my family. I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. You know, I'm, if, you're not, if, if you're not blowing us up and talking a lot, I assume you're busy. I don't want to bother you when you, you don't have a lot of time off, so I don't want to, you know. Yeah. No, I, I, know, just... I know I'm going to talk to you on Sunday night at this point, so I'm not too, too stressed about it. But at some point soon, yeah. I'd like you to come up and check out the new place, see if we can get that movie club thing going. I told Chris if we can get 10 people a month to do the ten dollars a month thing, that'll give us enough money to continuously bring in new good stuff and uh, start a community. And I think it would be fun. I think I have a few people at the Alamo that we're going to come in and start doing it. Some cool. of the guys from the Alamo group, and uh, I think we can turn it into kind of our own little thing, you know, where it's our own little boys club thing, where we get like where we can even have like the movies that we use for that might even be set off to the side in the store where it's not the stuff that I have for sale. And we can have a lot more curated, more condensed, more like the movie club section is crazy dope. Cause he's got like the most nutty movies, but those aren't for sale. You can't buy those. Those are for the club. I bought them with club money. Like they're for us to watch and trade back and forth. I really would like it to hit that direction one day. I'm aiming for that. I think I can accomplish it. I think $10 is reasonable especially for what I'm providing. Um, so I don't know if you guys have an opinion on it, let me know. But yeah, it could be fun. I like the fact that I'll be able to, you know, hopefully bring in cool 4ks and special editions and stuff that we can, if there's a special edition with extra, uh, bonus features that somebody wants, I would like to be able to have that for them. And, uh, and then we cool, man, I bought it because John wanted to have it. And now we've got it in our stuff. We can all watch it. We can just pass it around. I don't know. I just think it would be a cool way to interact, man. We don't get to do that much right now. COVID's got everything all fucked up. And I was just thinking of a way we could have a community back to being a little bit more personable. Um, For sure. Who knows? I'm not I'm not going to freak, freak out if it doesn't work. But I'm going to put some effort into it and see what we can do. Cool. Well, man, that was fun, guys. Uh, miss you guys. Hope you have a good week. Let me know if you need anything. Josh, you off tomorrow? I am. Yeah. Want to grab lunch or something? Uh, I'm kind of broke right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been all my money in Austin. One of the first and probably only times I can say this: if you want to come to go grab some pizza, it's on me. Oh well, we'll do something soon. Okay. I mean, well, if you wake I, up and you decide you want pizza, gonna... let me know. <laughs> I assumed I was going to give you money for a beer, so. You'll have beer money. Yeah. No, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I genuinely don't. I had a good weekend. I'm, I'm good, bros. So I don't often have that opportunity. So if you want to come out, pizza's on me. Any, I wasn't going to even mention it. I was just going to buy the pizza. So I was going to do that anyways. So if you get up and you want pizza, let me know. Uh, me and Brick are going to go on Mondays at this point. That's kind of what we've been doing. So uh, Charlie likes to hang out with mommy for an hour or two and me and Brick can go get a slice because otherwise he's basically in his room. I don't see him. I had to force him to fucking go get burgers and fries. I was like, fucking, what the fuck, dude? He's like, oh, I'll just eat a jelly sandwich. The dude doesn't even want peanut butter on it. What an asshole. <laughs> dude, rando question before we go. Ha, are, are, do you guys like peanut butter? <laughs> Who yeah. doesn't Josh? like peanut butter? Assholes, my son. Uh, Unless you're allergic to it. like. No, no, yeah. he can eat it. He just doesn't, <laughs> he thinks it's gross because he's a turd. Um, so... I routinely get like H-E-B brand peanut butter or I get, I um, can't remember the other brand. I got Jif 
peanut butter? Is it Jif? Jiffy? Jif? Jif? I think so. Yeah. Dude. Whatever the fuck brand it is, I'm only going to buy that brand from now on. Because do you ever have a problem when you get the peanut butter in your bread and you start to try to spread it and it's like too thick yeah. and it tears your bread up? Mm-hmm. Not a problem with this stuff, dude. I mean, it was damn near liquidy. Like you could, it was so fucking good. I don't know. I'm hungry now. God damn it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get out of here, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you hung around to the end. This is a long ass episode. Uh, we appreciate your time. We appreciate your uh, support of the channel. I very much appreciate that. Um, this whole thing is crazy to me, man. The fact that this is even working is fucking nuts. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got any recommendations or anything like that, uh, let us know. <clears throat> if you want to check us out on Patreon or donate to the channel for some reason or check us out on social media or send me a hate, hateful email or something like that, I accept all of those. Um, mm-hmm. All that information is down in the comments, I mean, in the description below. And, uh, you know, we are here to please. So let us know if there's something that you want us to talk about. See you guys next week. Peace.